Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Auntie Janet on another Monday morning talking about a Jamaican famous phrase, parable, story, memory, something Jamaican that we're going to link to the truth of God's word, the principle of God's word. This morning we're going to examine the famous saying, empty bag can't turn up. Yes, man. So the other day, you know, I was listening to Elder Pete um, the other day, man, and I mean, read a scripture that I love. And when I heard the scripture from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17 through um, 19, man, it just blessed me so. And I kept thinking, you know, as Christians, we can't be empty, you know. We can't be empty because when you're empty, you can't turn up. So when you empty and, and Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, he talked about some things that were happening in life. He said the storm will come, the winds will blow, the rain will fall. Empty bag can't turn up when them something to happen. So the other thing we realize now is whatever, imagine you have a cup. When you have a cup and it fill up of something, if you drink from that cup, don't you ever get what in the cup? No, sir. So if you drink, if the cup have Kool-Aid, and you drink Kool-Aid, and, and you lift it up for drink, no Kool-Aid you can drink, if it have water, and you lift it up and drink out of it, no, no water you can drink, and then if you make that nice Jamaican lemonade, mm -mm -mm. Mr. Carol make some of the best lemonade, man, she picks some lime for a tree in her back and make the best lemonade, and when you get up on a hot day, but when you see a cup, with lemonade and you drink it. The lemonade you drink. Me here, DJ Laura on Saturday morning, always feel cup of chocolate tea. So if it's chocolate tea in the cup, no chocolate tea you drink. So here is my thing. Whatever you fill up with, I that people are going to drink. Whatever you fill up with, I that people are going to drink. So here is the scripture again. Me say, Elder Pete man shared this, that Christ this is Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of God which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. So when you fill up with all the fullness, now according to Ephesians, you have to have power to know the love of God. And when you know the love of God, then you fill up with the fullness. So my thing is, we need to start praying man, and ask God to fill us up with His love. But and a source of love, you know, is a love with powerful, is a love that comes from Him because the Word of God says we love Him. Because and say him first love we. We love him because he first loved us. And then Jesus gave this one scripture. But listen, Papa Jesus are only one thing him give the world to know. So we are Christians, you know. Honestly, there are many things we do. We can, as I said last week, we must testify. Because if you have a testimony, you need to tell it. But guess what? He said, by this shall all men know by this one mark i know nothing else listen we can do pastor we can talk with men tongues of men and of angels but this one thing if you have it people will know you're christians he says by this shall all men know you're my disciples if you have loved one for the other so we want to encourage us this morning pray for the love god's love not for we love for we love to peke peke and unconditional i somebody say i love you if you love me and i love you if you're lovely and not that the kind of love we're talking about we're talking about the love of god that paul speaks about in ephesians chapter 3 and guess what to know that love you're not just going to wish it paul said that we should have power to know the love of God and, 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 and we must be rooted and grounded in love. When you're rooted and grounded, you fill up of it. You're
full of the love and then people going drink love from you everything you do is love when come anything happen to you 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 buck your toe a lover will come out you know no money a lover will come out they picking them making you crazy a lover will come out because you're rooted and grounded now the problem is sometimes love now come out because the empty bag the bag empty and the bag empty and if the bag empty the bag drop down the bag no turn up Lord, that you would be filled with the fullness of God by knowing the love of God. That's my prayer for you this morning. That's my prayer for all of us. That we would sing my, fill my cup and let it overflow. God, fill up this empty bag with love. Empty bag can't turn up God. So God, fill me, take me back to the cross and let me see what love looks like. Fill my cup. Let it overflow. God, fill my cup empty. Me, me, me cup empty, my bag empty. I mean, keep me loud, me not standing up. Sometimes we just have to be honest with God. Me not turn up, God, every time me get irritable, me get vexed, me feel upset by somewhere at me in church. Me vexed at pastor, me vexed at the sister from the choir. Every time them say something, me get upset. God, fill me up, fill me up with love because empty bag can't turn up. And we have to say, God, be empty. God, me empty, me empty, and we want people to know, so he's not just a church goer, but I am your child, and that means you may need to be filled with love, so when something happens, and people have to drink from my life, and touch my life, I love them, get God, so God, fill me up with love, fill me up with love. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh yeah, fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh God, oh God, oh let it overflow with love. Come on now. You know why? This simple song about Jesus love you. I know Joe thing you know. Jesus love you so much him shed blood. You can be filled with the love of God and others can feel his love through you. God, fill us. Fill us with your love, unconditional love, strong love. God, let us experience you and let us overflow with love. We just pray this from, from picnic to grown smuddy to mother to father. God, it's your love. Not just any love, it's your love we need. Empty bag can't turn up God. So God, fill us with love, we pray. In the name of Jesus, fill my cup and let it overflow. Thank you, Lord.